Let's have dinner. Mm. Jackie! Mm. Ooh, that is not the Jackie. You mm. know it. There's a new girl about to surface. Jeez. Whoa! Oh, sh you just met her. I want you to ask Greg, do you appreciate me? I have to ask you, do you appreciate me? I appreciate you, but I feel like you don't go to the same extent for me that I would go to for you. There's never been anything that I wouldn't do for you. Talk is cheap. There have been times where I felt like you really haven't been there for me as well as you could have. Okay. I feel like you prioritize your friends, your career. Mm -hmm. And you're not available. No, it's not that I'm not available. You have to bring me in. See, this is a constant job. And I think what happens with you is you think she don't need to feel like we are one. She don't need to feel that. She should be happy I pay the bills. And she should be happy that she's married to a doctor. But let me tell you something. Your title is a title. It's not just a title. Turn okay, up, it's Greg, who Greg. I am. Turn up, boy. It's who I am. Turn up. And either you love me for who I am or you don't. Huh? Serious. Okay. So I should love you for, for not doing the masculine things in the house. Here you go with that masculine no, bullshit no. again. Wait, I'm that's very you. disrespectful. I'm, I'm asking you. Because the masculine asking is taking you. care of you, which I've been doing since I'm the day you. I got with you. That's not helpful. Quad has to learn. It's okay to acknowledge that your husband has helped you. He needs to hear that, that you're appreciative. So what you're saying Selfish is ass. that I should take the trash out. But if I can't do it, help a brother out. What the f is the problem? OK. Heavenly, their session is over. Get out of here with that bullshit and you and this chicken is garbage. Yeah, we don't want to see you guys no, fight. Don't fight, guys. We don't well, have a professional well, counselor like here. It's not helpful. helpful. It's not helpful. This exercise here tonight is a train wreck, and we are not going to gain anything by the bullshit she is asking. I'm going to say something right here, right now. This ain't helping I'm going to say something right no, here, right now. It's OK. Please let me say I'm... something right here, right now. Dear, please. I tried to get Mariah to make a trip up here today. I wanted to be the peacemaker and bring these two back together. That's all it was. I'm not trying to be messy, not trying to create drama, anything. At my age, I know that good friends are few and far between. And I was hoping that the friendship I saw between the two of them last year, that they could somehow get back to it. Simone, why was it when I told you initially that you could not respect what I was asking you? Because I'm stubborn, and I'm thinking peace is so much bigger than that. I'm not the type of girl that's going to shake salt on someone's name. But I will call a spade a spade. And I think it's important that Simone sees who Mariah really is. Apparently, Mariah has placed a temporary restraining order on Rico Chappelle. This was post the Women of Atlanta. I was not privy to what transpired. I kind of just heard about it. He came and over, he said hello to her. So did you see it? Yeah, I was standing right next to him. This is not a gang to me. No, because this goes back 20 years. No, no, 20 years no, on no, 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 no. Now, for me, if I was present, I would definitely be at that court date because that boy did not assault her. I would definitely go. She's out of control. I own it, I'm done. Smack the shit out of me. And never again will I suggest that Mariah be with the group. You can talk about it behind it my back, to talk about. but I'm Let done. Me tell you something. I don't have it wasn't a conversation I'm behind done. your back. It's it was just simply, that. hey, I just want to make sure I'm hoping that Mariah does not show up today. Because can you tell me where you got, it, got that yeah, information I'm from, Toya? Can you Yesterday, share with me? Yesterday, you shared it with me in Heavenly. When? Yesterday at the cabin. Uh-uh, no. We were standing there by the sink. I don't have a problem with Mariah. I was telling her I thought she should come, make a surprise visit, pop in, bring a cake. We were there. It's OK not to remember. Don't sit up here and make it seem like I made that shit up and was talking behind your back. Because I'm talking to your face right now. How would I know about it? Listen, listen to, the 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 listen to you me. You were there. Tell you. Was this does not have to be an argument between the two of you. 
What I want to say to you, Heavenly, is if me talking about the alcohol was a, what hurt you, I am sorry. I want you to recant it and say you lied. You know good and damn well I'm not an alcoholic. I want you to say I lied, Heavenly, and I'm Heavenly, sorry for lying. what I said is that, and I said it in a joking way, is hiding the alcohol is a sign of alcoholism. Heavenly likes to drink. Heavenly can put a whole bottle of Crown down by herself in two hours. My whole thing is when you get angry, you say horrible things. No, 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 no. I did not go there. Yes, first. you do. You stay out of this conversation. Why do you always have to get into that conversation? I'm the one she told it to. Anytime you hide your drinking and call the coffee, it might be borderline. But you attack my husband. You don't even come for me. Eugene has never done anything to you, but you are so quick. Has never done but you to are you. so quick. The only reason why I ever bring up Darren's name is right after you say something about Eugene. That's a lie. So Because I asked you to leave. Toya, I I'm not you Eugene. To leave. You don't run me, bitch. You're you right. don't. With your old gay ass husband. Every time you mention Eugene's name, I'm gonna throw something out there. I do not like my husband to go to a strip club without letting me know, and I like to go with him. But the reason why the girl came up was because Lisa was had holy water and a funeral hat on. <laughs> like, oh, hell, here we go again. And you brought your business cards in, and you asked them how much money they make. You said, how much money do you make? I have a better way for you to make money. That's what I do. I promote an opportunity. This is the okay. business that I did to pay for school. I've made millions of dollars promoting opportunities. And off of other people's backs, of pure me marketing awesome. schemes is. She's yet to formally apologize to me for screaming at me like a lunatic, and I'm still kind of annoyed at her. You just called what I did a pyramid scheme. It is a pyramid scheme. It's not. It is. Hey, it's hey, not. hey, 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 hold up, hold Pyramids up. are illegal. I'm like, girl. I'm dead. Someone go ahead. Someone, someone resuscitate me. Someone, because Jill has just killed me. Opportunities like that give everyday ordinary people a business. Really? Everybody didn't go to Harvard. I made a lot of money in direct sales, network marketing, MLM, whatever you want to call it. And I took the money that I made in this industry and I invested into other businesses that I fully own, like the Lisa Nicole collection. You don't think it's disrespectful to call something that makes her millions of dollars a scheme? You don't I think do. that's disrespectful? I think it is. I'm sorry. No, I think but a you lot. said it multiple times. That, that is disrespectful. I do, though. I, that's what I think. So why are you attacking me? If you are finished it or not, but dinner is adjourned. I'm going to always defend what I do. I've earned millions of dollars doing it. OK. okay. Off of other people's backs, though. But what you're missing is you were at the strip club passing out brochures for your business. I was at the strip club passing out brochures for my business. Yeah, but mine why? is mine was out of fun and not out of like serious, like, what? I'm gonna try to recruit you and change your profession. Jill, you, your profession. you sound really airheaded right now. You were trying yes. to get more people to give butts no. to and boobs to. You were there <laughs> recruiting. You have your opinions about direct sales. I have my opinions about putting silicon in your body, but you don't hear me attacking that business. It's called respect. Milan, do you not see that? You were passing out brochures. Listen, whoa. hey, 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 whoa. hey, 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 whoa. hey, whoa. hey, whoa. hey. come on. Whoa. I am Barbie, and whoa. I am a blonde Barbie. Oh, come on, but I have a hell of a lot more education than you, little oh, Miss oh, Millionaire. I you. Really? Wait a minute. Really? Wait a yes. minute. You don't know my yes. Wait a minute. I have two wow. Ivy League degrees. Come on, well, you know, oh, what does it mean? Well, she just called me blonde. I didn't like the comment about me being infertile. 14 years ago, I got breast cancer. To find out the thing that we grow up, most of us wanting to do, you can't do. And Buffy, you can relate. You're infertile. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? The comment about me being infertile at your event. You said, Buffy, you're infertile. I thought I was really creating co a connection between you and I, and the, because no, we oh, oh. take our pain and make it a purpose. It didn't come across that way. That was team too Everybody. much.
So we now are not true friends. We're associates. No. Because no. we're true friends. That's, 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 that's not what that is. No, that's you gotta understand that's where Jackie's coming from. Some people don't know. Hey no, no, I don't wanna hear it right now. I wanna speak. Don't touch me right now, contest. Buffy, I receive. I apologize. Done with it. Let's have dinner. Mm. Jackie! Mm. Ooh, that is not the Jackie. You know it. There's a new girl about to surface. Jeez. Whoa! Oh, you just met her. Damn, who's this? <laughs> like, what is she gonna do to us? You know this curse didn't say not a goddamn thing. Maybe he already knows this Jackie. <laughs> we just getting introduced. <laughs> exactly. I've apologized to Buffy. And I received it and I accepted it. And don't have to worry about me saying much more. May I say one thing, and, and my heart is beating real fast because I get upset when Jackie gets upset. She did not mean it like that. When y'all try to portray Jackie as saying something that she didn't mean, it bothers me to my core. You know why? Because it ain't in her. I compared Dr. Jackie to Dr. Damon, and that's probably one of the greatest compliments I could give anybody. They're great physicians. They're great spouses. They have a sensitive, warm heart. So when next time you do something like this, pull it to the side. Don't do it at the table. Pull it to the side. You need to stay out of it. This didn't happen to you. It happened to me. And you can't tell me how the f I'm supposed to feel about it. I've never seen Jackie get that upset before. I have never. If you make Jackie mad, you did something freaking wrong. You really did. You don't tell me what to do, Heavenly. I know you're used to other people backing down. I'm not the one. Well, you shouldn't have said it here tonight, goddamn. You shut the f up, Heavenly. Now that I had a goddamn enough of your mouth. Can we have some appetizers? <laughs> Please. Gosh, 